watching back some of the uh, earlier videos and I noticed how many different colours uh, and products I use. I'm quite fortunate because we've been painting for a little while and we've collected these colours over time. But um, you know, if you're just starting out or you want to just try some weathering, um, it's uh, probably not, not wise to invest in loads and loads of different colours and paints um, in case you don't use them or don't get on with it. So in this video, I thought I'd uh, get rid of all of that and we would just go back to basics and just try to weather with just uh, two colours. And the colours I've chosen for this one is um, a colour called Hemp and German Camouflage Black Brown. And we're going to use an airbrush, a uh, couple of tools, that's a manky old paintbrush for uh, mixing and uh, some cotton buds. So here we go. So here's our two colours we're going to use as uh, a hemp, which is the lighter one, and then German camouflage black brown. Uh, the hemp's probably a little bit light for things like sleeper grime, so we can use uh, some of the black brown to mix it down and make it a bit darker. And it's really just a matter of playing until you find a nice mix between the two colours that you um, that you want to model with. Depends obviously on the environment you're working with. You may choose two different colours to start as a base colour. Uh, in addition to that, we can walk with the um, or thin the paints down, and that would give us like a wash effect. So that's, uh, the dark one would be for soot, and maybe the light one we could use that for for older wood poking through the paintwork. So here's the wagon we're working with today. This is from uh, Mainline. Um, these got really nice wood grain under the paintwork you can see. But the first thing we're going to do is to um, just take the edge off of the um, off of the livery using this fiberglass pen. So basically, as we brush it over, uh, use a little bit of force. It will take the top of the uh, of the paintwork off very slightly, and it starts to reveal. Things like the wood grain and some of the uh, relief details just gives a nice warm distressed effect if you're painting um, weathering onto your model you really don't want your your livery to be as pristine as it um, as it come out of the box it's kind of counterintuitive I guess so we're just going to take the edges off some of the sharp corners um, and just play around until uh, until you like it. You can take complete letters out if that's what you choose. Just be careful that if you use if you take too much time in one area, um, you could end up just polishing a shiny patch, which is not really what you're after. So just by watching uh, the rest of that, uh, just a quick note: if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, do press press the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell icon. And every time we bring a new video out, you'll get to hear all about it. So our first uh, layer is going to be using hemp straight out of the uh, at the bottle. We're not going to mix any colours. We're just going to do a really light coat around this relief detail, and then uh, straight away while it's still wet, we're going to rub off as much as we can uh, using a cotton bud. You can use a cloth if you choose. Um, try and use downward strokes for the majority of it. He says uh, doing upward strokes. Um, and this will simulate sort of rain running down the side and leave in dust uh, and dirt and grime underneath the rails and uh, in the detail. The nice wood grain on the on the mainline wagons, so that kind of shows up, it catches in there as well, um, and adds it. It's like a wash effect, but see what the paints are dry now. need to do the ends and uh, obviously all the four sides as well I 
Now inside I'm probably going to fit a load to this at some point but I'm just going to quickly do an inside um, dust as well. Again if you're doing a, a different environment or a different use of wagon if you're doing um, you know coal or a particular stone coloured load then you'd want to use a different colour inside. Um, I'm just using this hemp just because it, it shows up quite nicely. The just uh, the, the detail is, uh, is is really nice on these. I just like the, the wood grain finish on these. The very next stage, you need to pop the wheels off. It's easy to paint the wheels with their off the wagon. And then we've used the hemp, uh, just darkened down just a little bit, um, probably about 50-50. And that's just going to be our, our lower sort of sleeper grime layer. Make sure that the, you know, when you do the things like the axle boxes and so on, that you get them from all angles. It's so easy to miss a piece out and then suddenly you find a shiny back piece of plastic poking through your weathering as soon as you lay it on the track. So we're going to go along the, along the edge of the chassis and just slightly up into the wagon as if someone's splashed up onto the wagon, especially around the edges, around the, um, around the ends. Um, it would normally be a little bit higher there. do the same on all four sides. I'll come back to those in a second. I'll do them off camera, you don't need to see me doing all the sides. Um, but quickly gonna blow in a bit a little bit of colour on the wheels. This is the same as the super grime uh, that we've added to the chassis. So our next stage is uh, using the German black brown straight from the bottle, um, obviously thinned down. We're just going to add it to the around the um, the axle and the suspension, just uh, to add a bit of more sort of darker grime, a bit of uh, a bit of interest to the colour. And then along the top of the uh, like the top rails of the wagon as well. So this just looks uh, makes it look like a bit of dirt and um, wear. It's quite a subtle effect, we don't want to go too heavy, make it too obvious. Let's just go over it, I'll give it a few passes, very uh, low pressure on the airbrush, just so it doesn't sort of spurt out in, in one go. And I think I've thinned this back um, more than I usually would, just so it doesn't actually give a coverage, and, you know, it doesn't cover the colour completely. We've done all of the four sides and we've added, just gonna add the wheels back in now. So that uh, pretty much is done. Last thing we need to do is maybe a bit of uh, something to simulate grease on the end of the buffers. Normally it's a, bit, a little bit dark on this perhaps, but uh, since I've only got the two colors, this is what we're gonna do today. And that's pretty much it. Um, just, just for an example, just going to add a load into this one. This is our uh, medium grade um, coal from Hattons. And that's it. We're done. Thank you for uh, for watching once again. Thanks for joining us. I hope this has been uh, useful. Please do uh, subscribe and click on the icon if you've. Uh, if you want to see some more videos and we'll see you very soon.